basically there's one and a half billion people in the situation of being in poverty in the equatorial world and they, they, they generate um, about a dollar a day's worth of income and that's their wage sort of thing but because of the circumstances of poverty um, a lot of people in those circumstances don't spend that money on their food because they're in a circumstance where they have to subsist and so that dollar goes to things like mobile phones or mobile phone charging or things that where they take that money out of the community into organizations so the idea is to set up um, like a solar panel um, charges phones like for example this is just an example in the Congo um, people are I have good knowledge that people are actually walking 15 kilometers to charge their mobile phone the only sort of luxury they have and walking 15 kilometers and paying a dollar um, which is their their wages um, for charging the phone so if you put a solar panel in a situation like a village in the Congo where there's 60 million people in that circumstance um, then and they give a dollar a day away then that's like a, char a little solar panel will charge about 20 phones so 20 phones twenty dollars a day will create an income um, that will pay off that solar panel within two or three months and then that village then has a solar panel where they have nothing they have a solar panel and they have their own power system if they keep contributing a dollar a day then they buy another solar panel which will do an internet um, style facility they can get a laptop there you know by the end of the year they can have a phone charging facility a laptop and they can have lighting in that village just through organizing a hub where they can put their money together so the money doesn't go out it stays there and just grows and grows and grows but it's just little microfinance seeds like that that we can all do like that sort of project's about a thousand dollar project but the um, the implication is that it just creates a center where wealth can grow and stay in that community instead of it leaching out and what was the title of that again well it's equatorial wealth through solar seeds in poverty is that it's just that you plant it in the ground it just has to be a, a reinforcing cycle that keeps the wealth in that zone it's not a hard thing it doesn't take much five people put in 200 bucks and you actually get that going i'm working on this um, project so you can contact me at rainforestrescue.org.au and my name is helio so we can do it.